Hi, and welcome to the June 5th auction preview video of Jewelry, Silver, and Couture. We'll start here with this wonderful pair of Continental Silver Candlesticks. Just a beautiful pair, would look great on any table. Um, moving on to some Tiffany, so we have this Tiffany pedestal bowl, and then the small Tiffany swirl spoon, which is quite nice. Above here we have a Russian silver and plique jour spoon. I'm just going to lift this up so that you can see how the light interacts with the enamel work, which is really quite beautiful. And then on the underside there are some more detailed designs to the bowl of the spoon. So this is antique Russian 19th century. From the same estate as our Russian plique jour, we have this absolutely beautiful Tiffany & Company 19th century flask. So you can see here that there is an etched ship to the body of the vessel, and this is most probably from the America's Cup, but you can see the nautical design, it's really quite beautiful. And this is estimated at six to 900. I would say one of the most interesting items in this sale is a Triceratops horn. So according to the provenance, this is 64 million years old, um, and you can see the color variations here. And this was discovered on a farm in South Dakota, and these differences in color are a result of a portion of the horn being exposed to the elements and the other part underground. Um, but it's really quite interesting being offered at 1,000 to 1,500. I don't know where you'll find another, um, but it is really quite nice. And then here we have a pair of silver plate verdura pineapple form candlesticks. Just a nice little pair, more contemporary. We have a demi tasse service. This is Danish silver with red enamel work, and it's really quite nice at three to five hundred. We have from a local larch monastery a bride's basket. It is in sterling. However, the flower frog, per the usual, is not silver, but it does fit quite nicely into this basket. From a queen's estate, we have this silver plate and wood lidded vessel. Really just a very nice design by Consigner Provenance. This was purchased at the London Volts, so the Silver Volts, uh, and this is being offered at 300 to 500. We have this Art Nouveau Continental Silver Tea Service, which I think just has a wonderful look to it. Um, I'm partial to Art Nouveau, but the line work is just so beautiful on all of these pieces. I love the edges to the tray here and this kind of wave design, and then the, it's accented by these, I believe, chrysanthemums, but it's really quite beautiful. And then in front here from a local New Rochelle estate, we have this German 800 silver tea service. And just again, the texture to these pieces is just so nice. Um, so aesthetically, this is just top of the line. And this is estimated at four to 600. We have a Bucciolati frame. So it is a smaller frame, but it's quite nice also with the original dust bag. This is being offered at 300 to 500. From one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days, we have this American Sterling kettle on stand. But if you just want to take a look here, again, the craftsmanship behind this is just impeccable. So we have this flower. It's kind of a slightly hand hammered finish. This is really such a wonderful example of early American silver. And then we have some English Victorian silver in this Chatelaine, which is just so sweet. I love these. This is one of the first, first real things that I auctioned off here at Clark was one of these Chatelaines that I just love. So we have this kind of north wind mask and then suspending all of these various chains. So there's a different design to some of these chains and then all of these accoutrements that can be used to, to run a household. So little scissors, little pocket knife, really so sweet. All of this is identified on our website with additional pictures, et cetera, and it's being offered at 300 to 500. This is a Russian silver mounted Russian icon. So it is painted beneath and then it has this silver Riza with these silver, silver crowns and it is Russian silver. Uh, really quite nice at 600 to 900. We have this grouping of Danish silver serving pieces. So we have a two piece salad set and then two serving knives. A late addition to the sale is this absolutely wonderful George III English silver apparent. So it does have four arms with a central cut crystal bowl, um, paw feet, and then all this foliate design throughout. It's being offered at 2,000 to 3,000. Pair of German silver candlesticks, column form to this tapered base with the floral swags. Again, would look great on a table. We have a pair of, again, German 800 silver um, 
open vegetables or open bowls with cut glass inserts and kind of this floral design, again with paw feet, really quite nice and in very good condition. And now I will jump back and start off our selection of jewelry with an absolutely stunning um, David Webb 18 karat gold carved salmon, coral, and diamond brooch. But what really makes this brooch just extraordinary is the kind of modeled textural work to the gold. So it's just beautiful. It is signed on the underside, and this is being offered at 5,000 to 7,000. Unusual grouping of figural brooches and pins that came in on one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days again is this so sweet ladybug and leaf. So the ladybug is a watch, the wings are hinged, um, enamel work, diamonds, colored gems. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the underside. So the watch is probably replaced, but it's just so sweet and so nice and in very good condition for what it is, being offered at 400 to 600. We have a trio of 18 karat gold frogs with malachite bodies, six to 900. Same estate, a pave diamond inlaid frog, but what really makes this one nice is his little in trim blonde. So you can see his little legs move. I didn't do a good job of showcasing it, but they are in blonde, little wiggle legs. Again, another enamel decorated frog with diamonds. We have this Tiffany & Company ladybug with diamonds and enamel work. This is a Garavelli 18 karat gold enamel and diamond brooch. Both of these are Tiffany. They are being offered individually and they're enamel work with diamonds. Each are being offered at a, I believe five to $700 estimate, but double check that. We have this again, this I believe is Martine, and this is an enamel decorated frog, so sweet. This is Italian 18 karat gold enamel work pearls, emeralds, and just a beautiful crafted necklace with matched earrings, and it is signed. Etruscan Revival 14 karat gold hinged bracelet with the safety chain from a local Larchmont estate. We have this 14 karat gold and cameo bracelet. Each cameo is different. We have for our couture, I'm just gonna put this on because it's just so nice. I mean, this is a perfect summer bracelet. This is Christian Dior with 18 karat gold and bezel set diamonds, so round brilliant cuts. Really very sweet, and this is being offered at 15 to 2,500. So we have a grouping of miscellaneous figural brooches. These are lotted into two lots. So we have some roosters, cats, owls, frogs, etc. Two lots, each at four to 600. Moving on to some lapis, we have this three-piece suite, 14 karat gold, lapis and malachite. We have this lapis and gold ring. We have these two 14 karat gold and lapis rings. We have this 14 karat gold bypass form bracelet with pearls and diamonds. We have this gold over silver grouping, so it's this hinged bracelet, but has a very nice color gem cabochon, which is an amethyst with these gold over silver and enamel earrings. We have this 14 karat gold grouping of ladybug pins. We have this 14 karat gold grouping of enamel decorated bug brooches. This is a very sweet grouping of Southwest kind of jewelry, Southwest and Mexican. So this is in the style of Mathilde, Mathilde Poulat. These are a very nice pair of Taxco sterling ear clips. This is a Mexican silver bracelet, but this is in the style of Elsa Peretti's bone cuff. This is a very nice sterling bracelet with the band of inlaid polished stone. And this is by Whirling Wind or Ray Morton. Moving on, we have a jade necklace with 14 karat gold and jade clasp. We have this pair of 14 karat gold and emerald earrings. Suite of 14 karat gold mabe pearls and diamonds from the same estate, a second suite of 14 karat gold pearl and diamonds. We have this signed grouping of a bracelet and earrings. It is signed, I have not been able to identify the maker, but it is a signed grouping. We have this wonderful pair of colored gem earrings, 18 karat gold, diamonds, colored gems, etc. They're beautiful. This drop is absolutely stunning the way that the stone is faceted. We have this retro or vintage grouping. It's 14 karat gold jurettier or buckle form bracelet with this matched or near matched pair of 14 karat gold colored gem and diamond earrings. We have in a whole slew of Hermes. So these two are being grouped together. We have this bracelet alone. And then we have these sweets. So we have a suite of this kind of green kind of horse background. We have a nautical with the earrings. And then we have this, this French one with the wheat sheaves. And then these are all lauded accordingly on our website. We have this lapis 
necklace with the ear clips. So really quite these kind of trefoil kind of ear clips, really quite nice. We have this necklace that is 14 karat gold. We have this 14 karat gold necklace that is inlaid with 100 Pabe diamonds. It is 14 karat gold, estimated at four to 600, but really just so beautiful, a delicate, very sweet necklace. Jumping forward, we have this little grouping of three rings with diamonds. We have an 18 karat gold and enamel decorated lion form brooch with diamond and colored gem accents. We have this Mabe pearl ring that's really quite nice with the diamond surround. We have this angel skin coral and diamond ring. We have this 18 karat gold chain bracelet with the toggle clasp. The toggle clasp is really quite nice and it does have colored gem cabochons to the terminals. We have this wonderful diamond ring, really so nice. Carved jade pendant with a 14 karat gold bail. We have this pair of 14 karat gold and Pietradura earrings. Uh, we have this petite Tiffany ring, so kind of this woven design to the band. We have this three piece gilt silver or vermeil Chinese grouping of a bracelet and earrings with enamel decoration and angel skin coral cabochons. We have this 14 karat gold brooch with an enamel decorated portrait plaque of a beauty. Um, next door we have an absolutely beautiful 14 karat gold and marquee cut diamond ring. I'm going to put this on my finger so you can see that it's, it's slightly over two carats and it is flanked by tapered baguettes and it's absolutely beautiful being offered at four to six thousand. We have this a little modest 14 karat gold and diamond ring. We have this H Stern watch which is grouped with another watch. Um, let's see, what's this one? We have this watch here. So there's a whole slew of watches in the sale, so there's quite a selection, um, but it, it's probably highlighted by this grouping here. So we're going to see this Chopard Happy Diamonds watch. It is 18 karat gold, and there is a diamond surround to the face, as well as diamond accents to the multi-chain band. We have this very nice Seiko watch here, and this was actually, this was brought by the individual who wore this during the Vietnam War. So this is estimated at three to 500, but it's really quite nice. Um, and of course, any kind of history on where a watch came from is also very sweet. Um, this is a Rolex Submariner stainless steel, and this is estimated eight to 10,000. This is another Rolex in the sale, of course, also stainless. Um, and this has a Shantung dial, which is intended to resemble silk. And this watch itself is estimated at two to 3,000. And I'm just gonna kind of do an overview of all these vintage watches here. So there's some Balmain Mercier, um, this one in particular. There are some Cartier or Mousse de Cartier watches. So this one has a lapis dial. This is a Tiffany Atlas watch. Um, just a really nice selection of vintage watches in the sale. So if you wanna take a look, we're gonna jump back. Here's another diamond engagement ring set in 14 karat gold. Um, and then for our costume selection, this is a Shriner brooch. Estimate at three to 500. We've had quite a bit of interest in this. Um, and then jumping over to some pens. So this is a grouping of Mont Blanc and Pelican pens. So really quite nice grouping, many with 18 karat gold nibs. And then this is a larger selection of fountain and ballpoint pens. So you can look at all the details of these on our website. Some are silver, many are signed. Um, and then this is a grouping of, co of costume jewelry. So all of these pieces are also identified on our website. It's quite the grouping, it's large in size. This is just, these are so sweet, I have to pull these out. They're nutcrackers, or, or I would think of them as nutcrackers, but I think they're actually clowns. But I like nutcrackers better, so that's what they are. Um, and then there's just some really nice examples and this is estimated at 400 to 600. Um, getting into some couture for the sale, we have this Chanel gilt or gold tone belt, really quite nice. We have this Chanel necklace with this circular pendant. And then we have this pair of Chanel earrings or ear clips, and they are Gripoy, um, really quite nice from a local estate. And then we're going to wrap it up with a grouping of Louis Vuitton. So each of these are individually lotted. So we have two hard cases, each are individually being offered. So here is the well-known brown monogram hard case. You can take a look inside. There are some stickers. 
The interior is nice with the original labels. Of course, it's upside down from where you're looking. Um, and then we have this more unusual kind of tan or camel tone with the Louis Vuitton border, but again, in very good condition. And then we have two soft cases being offered in this sale. So the two on the bottom are one lot where these are being offered individually. And that wraps it up for my selection of jewelry, silver, and couture for the June 5th auction. We hope to see you there.